What do we do now? We just wait? No, we need to recreate the moments before the original explosion as closely as possible. Oh, uh, well, Archie and I... I know. I read it in the comics. Hey, sorry. Uh, there may be a way to separate the two universes without erasing this one. Okay. Well, we should probably stop the bomb. Betty, could you please disarm it? What? I, what? I don't know how to disarm a bomb. Yes, you do. You went to the FBI Academy. You've actually done it before when Polly had a bomb strapped to her body. You came back from the dead, too? Where were you after Archie strangled you? The Great Pops Chocolate Shop in the Sky. From the second I walked through that door, I immediately felt at peace. The sweet hereafter Pops is a lot like ours, except it, it also sells comics. It's like one of those old-fashioned soda shops. Everything about this Pops is old-fashioned. Grab something to read and have a seat. It's all you can eat, on the house, of course. And that's when I found it. A special comic book that came in between issues 95 and 96. And it bridged the gap between Riverdale and Rivervale. It told the tale of two linked universes, and how if that second universe were to become separated from the first, it would die, unless a new power source could be found and maintained. I was looking around at all these comic books, all these wonderful stories, made me realize what that power source could be. That's why I resurrected and I came right here. What is the other power source that's going to fuel Rivervale after it separates? Imagination. It's limitless and all-powerful. It's boundless and ever-replenishing. There's no fuel more potent, no generator more awesome. I don't understand. Well, I think I do. The explosion is destruction, right? What's the opposite of destruction? Creation? Exactly. I mean, it's all in the comics. How Jughead here is going to save Rivervale by becoming a living battery. A, um, story generator. It powers Rivervale by writing the stories that fuel the universe. So it doesn't have to keep leeching off of Riverdale. It's an oversimplification, but... Yeah, you write and Rivervale lives. One thing though, once you start producing, you will have to be in complete isolation. I mean, think about if someone saw two Jugheads just walking and talking. I, it could actually break down reality, so... Well, no. No, then why can't you do it? I'm the narrator. He's the writer. What does that mean? This isn't fair. No, it's... It's how it has to be. 